Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day acrylic pour vase. So to start off with, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my cup with the colors that I feel represent Valentine's Day. If you want to use other colors, that's totally up to you. I am using white gold. I'm using some hot pink. I want a lot of contrast in this, so I'm not going with just your typical medium reds. So here I do have a primary red, and then I am going to be using a decent amount of Merlot, which is a really deep red and one of my favorite colors. And I'm gonna go ahead and just continue layering these until I've filled up my cup. Okay. Very excited about that. Now the only prep that I've done to this vase is to clean it with isopropyl alcohol and then I have it sitting up here on a cup so that I can easily move it off of the canvas. And you can do really any acrylic pour technique on here. I like to essentially tree ring it on top of the vase. And this is my favorite part where it kind of just cascades down. And pouring it this way should pretty easily get you full coverage on the vase. And it will also make a gorgeous pattern on the canvas. There you go. So at this stage, you're gonna just let it continue to run down the vase. I usually let it run for about five minutes or so until it's pretty much stopped dripping. Then we will gently move it off of the canvas and we'll finish up our canvas. All right, this has mostly stopped dripping, so I'm going to very carefully lift it up from the cup. And you can have some suction, so just be gentle. If you do accidentally touch the rim of your vase, don't worry too much, it's going to continue moving, so any little blemishes would get covered up anyways. Now I like to let the hole fill in in the middle, and sometimes I just push it down to speed it up a little bit. And that I just think gives a better design. And I'm gonna go ahead and answer some commonly asked questions while I tilt this. One is how much paint do you need for the vase? Now I always do my vase on top of a canvas or similar surface. So I simply calculate how much I need for the canvas that it's sitting on. And that is enough to cover the vase and the canvas. So for instance, for a 12 by 12 canvas, I use about nine ounces of paint. And so that's how much I will pour over the vase. If you wanna do it um, without anything underneath, you probably realistically only need a couple ounces to get it covered, but it'll just be a little bit more difficult getting it covered without using a ton of paint. All right. That is awesome. And there's even a little heart in the middle. Another commonly asked question is, can you actually use the vase? And how does the paint not come off of the vase? If you seal them with resin, they are waterproof and they will last you forever. So that's what I do with mine. I seal them with resin once they're dry. The painting itself, you can seal however you want or not seal and it will be totally fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys down for a close-up on both of the projects here. All right, let's go ahead and start with our canvas here. So I think this is just gorgeous. And you get this kind of ripple effect which comes from pouring over the vase. And you can see I have a heart here. It is upside down from this vantage point, but super fun. Very, very happy with the colors. And then here is our vase. So 
So I'm going to show you this side and then I'll go around to the other side. And once again, I think just the right amount of pretty much all of the colors here. So let's go to the other side. This side got a lot more of the Merlot and the white, but I think all the sides are just gorgeous. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this project. Feel free to let me know in the comments what Valentine's Day projects you are working on, and I will see you guys next time.